What's going on everybody? Today in this video, I'm taking you guys along with me and embroidering some beanies. And I got my sheet right here for the digitized file and the design that we are going to be embroidering. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. What's going on everybody? My name is Bob from Aesthetic Imprints and I run a custom apparel screen printing and embroidery company all out of my parents' basement. And today in this video, like I told you, we're going to be embroidering some beanies. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the embroidery machine I use is the Ricoma MT-1502, so I'm going to take you guys along with me in exactly how I get a design onto here and embroider it. So first, I got a design right here in this USB, so I'm going to plug it in right here in the back. And now that I got it plugged in, this was the design that I was just embroidering, but to upload a new design, I go to File, click on this. This is my USB Go to the last page because this is the newest. And here's the design that we got right here. As you can see, it loads up right here. It tells me the stitch count and everything on here. In this case, it's 10,128 stitches. So what I do is hit this button and it adds it onto the Recoma machine itself. So then I hit this one. Go to the last page. Find that same design right here. Click OK. And it loads it up right on here. Actually, before we do any of that, I got a custom Pantone color that I'm going to be using for this embroidery job. This is a custom color that the customer needed, and it just goes with their design and logo. So I got to switch out some of these threads and put this on here. So let me take you guys along with me. Now, to do color changes and color swaps for an embroidery machine, it's pretty simple. All you do is come back here and switch the color out for this. Now, instead of feeding this entire um, thread through and doing the whole color swap and feeding it through there. There's a little trick. All you do is just cut the one that you need. In this case, I'm just gonna replace this one. I don't I don't need the gold right now. So all I do is open this bad boy up. Once I have that opened up, I put it into its spot right there. And I take this one and this one, and I basically tie a knot. All right, there it is. Now I just feed it through the hole, pull, tighten that out. And now I'll do the little test, make sure it's not coming apart. Boom, that's it. Don't mind the machine, I pulled it out for this video so I could demonstrate this to you guys. So that's 14 and this is 15. So that's basically number 14. So I look at 14, that was the gold. So I basically come here and instead of doing a color swap from scratch, feeding it through here, feeding it through here, just redoing all of that, all you do is just tie the knot right there, pull the old color, and as you can see, it pulls the knot with it, and boom, there it is. You don't even have to do anything else. All you do is grab your snips. There's your color change for you as easy as that. And now that we got that done, let's choose our color sequence. In this case, we're going to do the 14 first, and then we're going to do our white. Boom. I got some test beanies loaded up on here. I'm going to do a test stitch out just to make sure everything is going good and see if there's any issues before I begin the full production run. So let's run this test. Let's trace it. Make sure it fits and everything is good. I need to move it just a little bit. That should be good. Yeah, let's start. something happens right away all right this was my fault i first of all i switched the color but forgot to even pull the color swap out now that i got that and that one i just forgot to re-thread it so i'm gonna re-thread this into the needle and then start it back up There it is. That sample is looking pretty darn sweet. Let me show you guys with this out. With this, you just rip the stabilizer. Uh, 
as you can see, that looks pretty good. Check that out. Those small letters came out real clean as well. Now that that looks good, let's begin full production. That looks clean. I actually switched this to black thread because it matches the t-shirts. The t-shirts I printed are with black thread. Link to that video right here. This looks fire. All right, now the benefit of having four of these or just double what your capacity for your heads are. In this case, I have a two head, so I have four of these. I can run the other two while I'm messing around and loading up those other ones. So let's start these and do what we gotta do here. Now one quick little tip for that, if that all that plastic stuff doesn't rip off, all you do is spray some water and it just disappears on its own. And then you just let it dry and as you can see, it's water soluble, so when water hits it, it just dissolves. Or when you throw it in a wash, it's gonna disappear. And this is why I switched the letters to black, because as you can see, it matches the t-shirts that I screen printed. And as you can see, those thread colors and that ink color is a pretty good match. It's the next morning. I went ahead and finished them all up. Let's go check out how they came out. There it is, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed this video of me taking you guys along with me and doing some beanie embroidery on my Rakoma. MT1502. I gotta give a shout out to Rakoma because I had an issue with my embroidery machine where whenever it did a color change from 14 to 15, it would make a grinding noise and it was an ugly noise that just kept happening. Now there was no flaws with the machine. The machine still operated. The only thing is whenever it made a color change to the farther needles such as 14 or 15, it would make a er, er, er sound. But Rakoma's tech, they sent out a tech yesterday and went ahead and fixed it free of charge. So that was great. He came in here and fixed it in like 10 minutes. So that was like, I was like, wow, come on. 
So yeah, shout out to them for doing that. If you do want to get a Recoma MT1502 or any Recoma machines, go ahead and use some affiliate links down in the description below. You get up to $250 off a multi-head machine like this. If you want to get a multi-head or a single head machine will be $100 off. Go ahead and use those links down below. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, including embroidery, or if you're new here, I also do behind the scenes of screen printing and a whole bunch of other stuff. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like this video. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos. Let me know what you guys think of this beanie. Let me just talk to me down there. I like engaging with you all. Always remember, no grind, no glory. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you want to work, let's get to work. Let's get it.